So hello friends and uh, welcome to my channel. So today we will be learning a very interesting tip in order to remember what structures are present in the anterior elbow. So just have a look. So it is called as three, two, one, one rule. Now what is this three here is the three muscles. So if this is the lateral side, that is the medial side. So we have the brachioradialis, which is there on the lateral side. And you have the brachialis, which is in between. And then if you go to the medial side, you have the pronator teres. So three is three muscles from the lateral to the medial side. We have the brachioradialis, then we have the brachialis, and then we have the pronator teres. Two is for the two nerves. So you have the radial nerve. So this is the radial nerve, which is uh, present in an oblique facial plane in between the brachioradialis and the brachialis. Then we have the median nerve, which is again lying in between the brachialis and the pronator teres. One tendon, so that is the distal biceps tendon. One artery, that is the brachial artery. So again, I'm repeating, it is three, two, one, one rule. When you start from the lateral side, this three is for the three muscles, which are brachioradialis, brachialis, and then the pronator teres. If you go to this two, you have the two nerves. One is the radial nerve in between, in a facial plane in between your brachialis and the brachioradialis, and the median nerve between the brachialis and the pronator teres. Then you have one tendon that is the distal biceps tendon followed by one that is for the one artery that is the brachial artery. Now let's see the demonstration of the same. Now if you want to scan uh, the anterior elbow then what you are supposed to do is you make the patient sit across the table. Now your shoulder is in forward flexion, elbow is extended, palm, forearm is supinated and palm facing up. So this is the position which you need to keep if you really want to scan the anterior elbow structures in the short axis. So either you can start from below and you can come here or you can start from above and you can come here. Now, where is this point is the distal articulating end of the humerus, which comprises of capitulum and the trochlea with the articular cartilage lying over it. Fine. We have already seen the 3, 2, 1, 1 rule where 3 is for your 3 muscles. So from the lateral side, you have your brachioradialis. Then you have your brachialis in the middle and then you have your pronator TV. So 3 muscles, then you will be seeing 2 nerves. One is your radial nerve between the brachioradialis and the brachialis. And then the median nerve between the brachialis and the pronator teres. One artery, that is brachial artery, and one tendon, that is the distal biceps tendon. Fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'll put my probe in short axis to the distal end of the humerus. Okay, so this is how it has to be. So I'm just keeping my probe in short axis. And now this time the aspect marker is towards the lateral side. So let me just adjust the camera a bit so that you will be able to see. Okay. So here the aspect marker is towards the lateral side. And we are just looking at the distal end of the humerus. Now, this is the point where you need to come. So either you start from below or you start from ever, but this is the point where you need to come down. Okay. Now we'll just see it. So I'll just change the mode so that we can see it very nicely. Okay. I will do one thing. I'll freeze it here. Now our probe was in short axis. So this side was the lateral side and this side was the medial side. This is how we have kept 
the probe. And this portion is the distal articulating end of the humerus. So the distal articulating end of the humerus will have the capitulum. Now the capitulum is the rounded portion. So this is the rounded portion, which later on will be articulating with the head of the radius. Now what you are seeing here is the trochlea. Okay. And in between what you are able to see this is the homogeneously hypoechoic structure and what it could be it is hyaline cartilage now your hyaline cartilage is homogeneously hypoechoic under ultrasound now once you go from there on the top then you will be able to see a pyramid shaped structure right so this is your brachialis muscle and if you are going to this side that will be your brachioradialis and if I'm going to this side, there'll be pronator teres, which I'll be showing you in a while. So now we have learned that if we want to look for the anterior albo structure, the rule is three, two, one, and one rule. So this three stands for the three muscles. Once we have gone from the lateral to the medial side, so this is your brachioradialis, then you have the brachialis in between, and then is your pronator teres, right? Then in an oblique facial plane, like this is the facial plane between the brachioradialis and the brachialis where you will be seeing the radial nerve and we do have an oblique facial plane on this side which again I'll be showing you in a while which will be having the median nerve on the top of it. Then you have one tendon so this tendon is going to be your distal biceps tendon and somewhere here you will be able to see the brachial artery. So this is what we will be seeing again so before going, let us revise it once again. So that is the capitulum. This is the trochlea. That is the homogeneously hard poechoic structure is our hyaline cartilage. Then we have our brachialis muscle. This is your brachioradialis. That is the distal biceps tendon in the short axis. So let me clear the drawing. Okay. So now again, we will be seeing the structures one by one. Okay. So let me go to our. So what you are seeing here is this one is the capitulum. Okay. Now this is that oblique facial plane. And then you have your brachial, brachioradialis on the lateral side. And if I'm sliding my probe, towards the medial side, then I have my brachio, brachialis muscle, which I'm able to see. Now, something which you are able to see and pulsating, but adjacent to it. So this is the one which is pulsating, but adjacent to that, if I'm just compressing, so that is the brachial vein, and this is the brachial artery. And what you are seeing on the top, this one is the distal biceps tendon. Now, the distal biceps tendon has got a short head and the long head, which we will be discussing in our subsequent, you know, presentations. Okay. And if I'm moving towards this side, so what we are seeing here is the median nerve okay and this muscle is our brachialis and this is our pronator teres this is what we have seen that the median nerve will be in between your brachialis and the pronator teres and the two superficial and the deep you know if we go to this side so if i'm going to this side the superficial branch and the deep branch, there'll be just a black hypoechoic dot-like structures, which you will be seeing in the oblique facial plane. So this nerve, radial nerve, will be in between your brachioradialis and the brachialis. And when we are talking about the median nerve, it is brachialis. And if I go to this side, that is the pronator teres. Fine. On the top, if I'm releasing the pressure, I'm able to see the vein as well. But if I'm applying the pressure, it just compresses, it just gets compressed and the artery is there. And next to the artery, we have our um, distal biceps tendon, which is here. Yeah. 
so that finishes the anterior elbow structure, uh, structures scanning. And do join us for more such videos. And thank you for watching.